Hi friends, welcome back to Venki's channel. If you haven't watched the previous videos, click on the top right corner. In the previous class, we have learned how to multiply two digit numbers with two digit numbers. And as I said you, today we are going to learn how to multiply four digit numbers with one digit numbers using Abacus. Before learning this concept, you need to know how to multiply two digit numbers with one digit numbers. It's a very simple method. If you don't know that, click on the top right corner. And now let's go ahead with today's concept. The first example is 2048 into 4. The first step is to multiply the first two digits in the first number with the second number, which means 20 into 4. We know that two digits into one digit is always a three digit answer. So 20 into 4 can't be 80. Then what can it be? We have to represent it as 080. So let's do it. 4 digit into 1 digit is always a 5 digit answer as we know. So let's count till 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have to begin from this rod. So 0, 8 and 0. And again we have to continue from this rod. We have to not continue from the next rod. We have to continue from the rod where we ended. So 48 into 4 is next. The last 2 digits with the second number. 48 into 4 is 4 4 are 16, 8 4 are 32, so 192, 192. So our final answer is 8192. And now let's do the second example, 7096 into 7. The first step is to multiply the first two digits with the second number, 17 into 7, 490. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 9, 0. And again, we have to continue from this rod where we ended. 9, 6 into 7. 9, 7 is 63. 6, 7 is 42. So 6, 72. So our answer is 49,672. And now let's go for the last example, 9849 into 8. As we know, the first step is to multiply the first two digits with the second number, which means 98 into 8. 9 8 is 72, 8 8 is 64. So 784. 784. And again, we have to continue from this rod itself, not the next rod. 49 into 8. 4 8 32, 9 8 72. So 392. 3. 92. So our final answer is 78792 or 78,792. Friends, hope you understood the concept clearly. If you have any doubts from today's concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. With this, we have finished level 6 of Abacus or the advanced level 2. In the next class, We'll start level 7 of the Abacus. Bye friends. Thank you for watching.